Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can take our bitmap and actually display it in our display. But first, I want to make a small change. You see, since last time, I've actually realized something. Java actually gives you a way to specify what pixel format it uses internally. So we don't need to do this whole ridiculous RG ARGB conversion right here, because we can just tell Java, hey, use a format that better matches what we're using. So I'm going to change our bitmap class a little bit so that we can better take advantage of that. First off, I'm going to change M components from a character to a byte. It really shouldn't matter. It should be the exact same size anyways. But, yeah, so that's byte now. Now it's a new byte array. Takes in a byte for the shade instead. Takes in byte, A, R, G, B. We're going to change that in a moment, but might as well change that now. And you know what? This function we can completely get rid of. We do not need it anymore. I'm going to leave a comment out, commented out just in case, but yeah, we don't need that function anymore. Second thing I'd like to change is we're going to change how we store our pixels. Rather than storing in ARGB format, we're going to store in ABGR format. So, ooh, wait. Yeah, that's right. So, basically we're swapping the R and the B. So I'm going to swap those in the parameter, so it's ABGR. And this, again, into our pixel, we're going to swap the B and the R. And that's all we should need to do. So, just a few very small, very simple changes, and they're going to make this whole thing a lot easier. Oh, and before I forget, now we're going to need a copy to byte array function. So, it's going to take in a byte array, and as before, we're just going to assume the byte array is big enough. If they go out of bounds, well, shame on them. And yeah, so now for every pixel, we're not going to do any ridiculous bit manipulation. All we have to do is say dest sub i times 3 equals m components sub i times 4. And now you might be wondering, well, why is the destination i times 3 and the components i times 4? We're going to be copying into a BGR destination. So we're going to be discarding the alpha when we do this. And that, oh, make sure we name this copy to byte array. And that's why we're doing this times three, because this only has three components per pixel, whereas we have four. So I'm going to copy this a few times. So this is supposed to be B, this is supposed to be G, and this is supposed to be R. And RB is our sec second component, so that's plus one, B, and G plus, plus two, and R is plus three. And there, that should be all we need to change in our bitmap class. So now if I build, we shouldn't have any errors. And excellent. So with that, now we should be able to go into the display and do the whole conversion setup thing a lot easier than we could before. Okay, so now that we've done all that, it's time to modify our display so we can actually display bitmaps. Now I went ahead and set up all the proper imports off screen. So that's what they are. Just this way I don't have to constantly go up and import the next new thing. So first off, if we want to display a bitmap in our display, we're going to need a few new variables. Well, a few new member variables, that is. So I'm going to have to start with a private final, and this is going to be a buffered image. I'm going to call m display image. And this is, oh, make sure you spell buffered correctly. And this is the image we're going to be using to actually display our bitmaps. And actually, while I'm at it, I'll, why not? I'll go ahead and have a bitmap that I'm going to call m frame buffer. This is a bitmap we're actually going to display. But the thing is, our bitmap gives us an array of bytes. We're going to need to copy to a byte array. So I'm going to have a private final byte array that I'm going to call m display components. And this is going to be, well, the display components of the buffered image. Well, of the display image, that is. Other than that, we're going to need two more things. We're going to need a buffer strategy, and call M buffer strategy. I'll talk about what that is and why we need it in a moment. And finally, we're going to need 
a private final graphics that I'm going to call in graphics. And this is what we're going to be using to actually draw into the canvas. So with that, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to initialize our bitmap to a our frame buffer to a new bitmap of width by height. And similarly, I'm going to initialize our display image to a new buffered image of width time height. Now, like I said, there's actually a way you can specify the type of data Java uses for pixels. And you can do that with buffered image dot type three byte underscore BGR. And that, well, that will store all the pixels in the buffered image as BGR in groups of three bytes. Which is really nice because that matches up nicely with our bitmap now. And lastly, we're, well not lastly, but perhaps most challengingly, we're going to need direct access to the bytes in this display image so that we can, you know, write to them with our bitmap. And this is a little tricky, but the way we can do this is I can say M display components, and now I'm going to take M display image, and I'm going to use something called get raster. That gets the the writable, well, the writable group of pixels from the image. But this by itself won't give us a byte array. We need this as a byte array. So I'm going to say get data buffer. That gets us, well, the byte array in another Java wrapper class. And we're going to need to cast that to data buffer byte. And finally, I'll go ahead and just put this on a new line. It can say get data. And that, if I've done everything correctly, should get us direct access to the buffered images, well, components as a byte array. Now, why it's this difficult, well, actually, I do know, but it'd be nice if it was simpler. That's all I'm going to say. Now, after we have created the, well, the window and whatnot, the JFrame, we need to go ahead and set up our graphic system, set things up so that we can draw into our canvas. And we need to manually allocate a buffer that we can draw in. So I'm going to say create buffer strategy. This is what the buffer strategy is for, by the way. And we'll create some buffers that we can draw in. I only want one. You can have more if you're interested in double buffering, but because of the way we're setting up our bitmaps and software rendering, that's basically a perfect substitute for double buffering in this case, so we don't need that. We're just going to have one buffer. And finally, our in buffer strategy is going to equal get buffer strategy. And there we go. We now have, well, the buffer strategy. And of course, this is this method right here, in case I didn't mention it, is inherited from Canvas. That's why we can use that. And finally, M graphics should equal M buffer strategy dot get draw graphics. That will get us a graphics object that can draw into our canvas's buffer. So finally, with all that out of the way, we now have memory allocated for the canvas so that we can actually draw into it. We now have an image that we can copy our bitmaps into. It's finally time to create public void, swap buffers, and actually draw into our display. Fortunately, now that we have all this setup out of the way, displaying our bitmap in the display is incredibly easy. All I have to do is start with our frame buffer. Remember, that's the bitmap. And we use our copy to byte array to copy our frame buffer to M, dis whoops, M display components. So we're copying our entire bitmap in the into the display components. Now remember, the display components represent the actual byte array used by M display image. So in effect, by copying into the display components, we're copying into the display image. Okay? So this has copied our bitmap into the display image. Now all I have to do is use mgraphics.drawImage, and I'm going to draw mDisplayImage. I'm going to start at 0, 0, go to, I'll use mFrameBuffer.getWidth, and mFrameBuffer.getHeight, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on a new line just to, you know, space it out a bit. 
And I'm going to pass in null as the last parameter, because I really do not care about the last parameter. And finally, with that all out of the way, all I have to do is use mbufferStrategy.show, and that will show our buffer into the canvas. So mgraphics drew our display image into the buffer, mbufferStrategy.show showed our buffer in the canvas. So with that all out of the way, I should be able to build, and I... Ah! My, that's an issue with my parentheses. This parentheses should go around that. We're casting the this whole thing inside the parentheses to a data buffer byte. And then after the cast, we're using get data. So, yeah, sorry, slight parentheses on my part. Now if I build, yeah, everything works out just fine. Oh, and by the way, I added the getters to the bitmap class off screen. I figured that would be plenty easy for, for you, so I didn't bother showing that. And with that all out of the way, we should now be able to just do... I'll just do a basic while true loop, so it, it, it'll never leave this, but that's okay because our display is running in a separate fret thread. Java does it sort of behind the scenes, but yeah. So while true, display dot... wait, I mean like the window is running a separate thread. The display itself, well, yeah, you know what I mean. And use display dot swap buffers here. And now this should set our window to black, because I have started in the wrong directory. Sorry, that was my fault. So now if I start in the directory that actually, you know, has the make and run scripts, now if I build and run, as you see, our entire window is completely black now, because that's what's in our bitmap. And if I go to display and say something like, I don't know, m, yeah, let's just go right here, below the display image, and just say m, m buffer dot clear, cast to byte, 0x80. Zero zero. So that should be gray. And look at that! We have a completely gray image. So this is working. We are displaying a bitmap into our window. So that'll just about wrap things up for this video. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. And actually, you know, why not? I'll, I'll say mframebuffer.drawpixel 100 by 100, and I'm using ABGR, so I'm going to cast that to 0x00. Nope, don't care about alpha. B, don't care. G, don't care. R, sure, I'll have full red. So this should be one red pixel at 100 by 100. And you might not be able to see it on your in the video, but there is a red pixel right there where my cursor was. So yes, our bitmap is working, and there. So hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you in the next video, where we'll actually start doing some interesting software rendering stuff, finally. Thank you, see you then.